Greetings, this is Dennis Daniels. I am thrilled to be sharing with you Wikimapia, one of the coolest tools you'll find on the web. Um, the developers have graced us with the code or the tool that we've all been asking for, Polygon Editing. So if you've logged in like I have, <coughs> you can uh, make changes to the shapes and actually give more shape <laughs> to the world. So I'm going to edit this random location and I will use the resize new, uh, resize polygon, move or resize. Let me try this. The, the resize new means, I think means that it's going to create a new object. So I'm going to use move or resize. And here is the object. I'm hoping that something, there it goes. Okay, so now uh, it doesn't give me the polygon here, so I need to, I'll go ahead and save that. Um, didn't give me the polygon, so let's go to the, let's see how well it loads, it's coming back, there it is, okay. I need to actually, I'm going to try the polygon, <coughs> and use the polygon tool. So I go menu, and resize polygon, new. And now check this out. I can place my the edges. Now it's a little tricky in terms of how to move stuff around um, because we move this down, okay, and we'll move this one over, and I'll actually create the lo the actual location for this building, and that's pretty good. Okay, <coughs> and now when I go down here, I click Save Polygon, and what happens? Well, uh, I can't tell if it did what it was supposed to do. Um, the map, okay, the map is refreshing. Something just happened. And, okay, now it's showing up as uh, when I roll over it, this this square is now connected to this green polygon so I'm presuming that if I resize this so that it fits inside of the polygon um, the whole thing will light up so let's go ahead and re-edit we'll edit this square again and menu move or resize and I'll just drop this down so that's the center of the building click save see what happens it's doing something the page is refreshing and there it is so it looks like um, it looks like it's going to work so let's go find let's go someplace else and then we'll come back here I'll grab this URL control C and let's go to San Diego if you've seen um, Anchorman, you know what San Diego means. <laughs> uh, so we go to San Diego. There it is, beautiful. Look at that. Um, lots of rectangles and squares, which with this new polygon tool we should be able to get rid of. Let's go back to our first random location <coughs> just to see how well, um, if the data itself was stored and retains its shape, which is the new polygon. So it's loading right now. And to uh, Wikimapia's credit, uh, the reason it's slow is because you can see I've got a number of applications already running, or a number of Firefox instances running. Let's see if it loads. It's doing its thing. And in a moment, we'll close that. In a moment, we should be going back to my last Wikimapia page. Give that a moment or two to load and we wait for a moment more or maybe not control V enter and uh, let's try that I'll click on it F5 to refresh the page 
and it should take us there transferring data that looks good in a moment it should take us to back to our random location in the world I hope it did okay and let's see if our polygon held its shape in a moment we'll find out in a moment we will know for sure taking a little bit longer but that's only because I've got so many things running and we should have a polygon around this building we should have a polygon around this building it's transferring the data you can see all of these buildings with crazy shapes that just need for somebody to go through and reshape them a little bit so we get an accurate picture of our square world there it is okay so when we roll over this object um, we can see everything that's connected to it is called or is now highlighted which is pretty darn cool so I want to thank the terrific developers at uh, Wikimapia and as they say um, let's map the world ladies and gentlemen we have now a tool that allows you to do just that thank you for watching and happy computing